Snes Junk. For some reason, there are two games on the Super Nintendo with the abbreviated title SOS. One is a really interesting game from Human Entertainment about escaping a sinking ship, where you have four different characters to choose from, each with different stories, and you can either rescue other people trapped on the ship, or you can just nope out of there by yourself. It's kind of a fascinating game that has a lot of replay value. I recommend checking that one out. But then there's the other SOS, known as Sink or Swim. And yeah, this game could not look more different. As if you can't already tell, this is a Western-made game, originally made for DOS by Zeppelin Games, who made lots and lots of sports games for Commodore 64, Amiga, and Atari ST. This game, however, is a puzzle platformer, similar to other games of the era like Lemmings, Troddlers, and Krusty's Funhouse, where you play as this scuba diver guy running around flipping switches and removing obstacles to help people off of this sinking ship. Each stage has a set number of panicked people that are apparently incapable of doing anything for themselves other than just run from one side of the screen to the other. So it's up to you to figure out how to lead these folks to the exit. Sometimes you gotta blow up doors in the way, sometimes you get rid of bridges or let other obstacles fall into place to bridge a gap, and the further you get in the game, the more complex the puzzles get. At one point, you have to repair pipes by climbing onto them. At another point, you're using magnets to move stuff around. You even have to deal with rising water, but there's oxygen tanks you can find that can help you out. What's strange about this game is that unlike other puzzle platformers like this, there is no time limit, so you can take your sweet ass time with this one. You get three chances at each level before you get a game over, and there's no actual continues here, but there is a password system. And mercifully, the passwords are actual words instead of a garbled mess. Something like island or summer or whatever. And yes, your character takes damage in this game, so you have to be careful. The gameplay is extremely simple and straightforward. I mean, the manual is only about 10 pages long, but the puzzles are interesting enough to keep playing ahead. There's at least 99 levels here, so there's plenty of content to get through. While this game is good for what it is, it's also extremely ugly. It's one of those games that's so garish looking, I'm afraid it's going to damage my TV. I mean, jeez, look at this crap. At least the title screen prepares you for, ah, uh, prepares you for how awful this game looks. Some people in the comments get upset when I make fun of how Western developed games look, but I mean, come on, look at Super James Pond, or Blues Brothers, or Out to Lunch, or Super Putty. They all have a similar vibe visually, and that vibe is ugliness. But Sink or Swim might be the worst out of all of those. It doesn't help that the music can't hold its end of the bargain either. It's only about six or seven tracks total, and they sound like they're auto-generated from a knockoff Casio you'd find in the Sears discount bin. This is a game you throw on mute and just listen to a podcast or something. Still, if you just stick to the gameplay, Sink or Swim is pretty good for a puzzle platformer. There's some hiccups here and there, like maybe not knowing where to go or not being able to see a certain ladder somewhere or something like that. But overall, it's on the same level as a game like Troddlers, a game I reviewed years ago that I still think holds up well today. The main difference here, though, I should point out, is that Troddlers is two-player co-op and versus, while Sink or Swim is single-player only, just FYI. Sink or Swim also got ports to the Sega Genesis and Game Gear, only the title on those platforms was changed to SS Lucifer Man Overboard. And as you might expect, it's pretty much the exact same game on those systems too. But yeah, if you like puzzle platformers, Sink or Swim is good enough. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day!